Greetings everybody, this is Juice. And so the chair, you guys probably saw the time-lapse video uh, that took me about an hour and a half, maybe, you know, give or take 15 minutes to put the chair together with my nephew. And we really took our time to put everything together and kind of evaluate things ahead of time so we wouldn't have to make adjustments twice. We are still gonna do some, or I'm gonna do some customization later, but I'll show you what I've got so far. So starting at the top, I decided to use this uh, lumbar pad as a headrest. It works out perfect for me, for my shoulder set. Uh, makes a nice little headset and actually looks more like an ejection seat like this than with the straps coming out the back. I haven't put the straps on yet, but I will probably do that. I'm just gonna test them and see how I like it. If they get in the way, I might take them off. Uh, the seat pan is really comfortable for me. And uh, again, you know, this seat, if I was more than 220 pounds and taller than six foot four, this seat might be too small, uh, especially on the on the weight. The, the wider your bottom is, probably the less comfortable it's gonna be. I went ahead and set it up for F-16 style flying uh, because that's how I fly all my jets now anyway. So I'm gonna set up my throttle here, or my throttle over there and my stick here. Uh, the throttle's gonna go on that side, stick's over here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out, I've got some extra like, workspace mat material. I'm gonna cut out a template of this so these holes are all hidden and then I'll just punch holes where I'm gonna put the, the throttle mount and it'll be on there and then I'll have a smooth surface here. And I got the mouse pad right here, which I'll keep the mouse hat. I went with center keyboard to go in line with uh, my use of the keyboard on the monitor or on the computer uh, like I normally do. And so I will keep that like that, like that for now and if I change it, I'll let you guys know. Now, I do have height adjustment on this. I can bring it up. It looks like about four inches travel. And uh, I actually measured my computer desk. I'm gonna lower my computer desk and I'm gonna bring the monitor stand that's on the computer desk up here closer. And I'm gonna try to marry those so that my monitors are about right here. Because uh, this travel on the seat area here, the travel on this seat is eight inches. So I can bring it all the way forward which is about, I think it's in the second slot back. So it's about one inch farther back than it could be. So bringing it forward, then you can go eight inches back to get into it and then you slide the seat up with that handle there. Both of these handles on the side here work as spring-loaded adjusters for the tilt on the seat. Right now I have it tilted back. You guys can see that, how much I have it tilted back. I haven't measured the angle or degrees. Uh, probably not quite the F-16 but it's definitely not as straight up as some of the other ejection seats that I've worked on before. The rudder pedals, I'm gonna put them in place before I mount them and see where they naturally fit on the plate. And then I'm gonna adjust the plate for distance for what I want. I wanna be able to put, so I have my, my feet on the, on the plate here and I can use my toes to steer on the rudder. And then if I need to, I, without having to stretch my legs too far, I can bring my feet up onto the pedals and then activate the brakes. So that'll be a fine-tuned adjustment. I've got it set up so I can move it this much track right here. There are three different holes on each side that you can hook that up with um, the, uh, the, to, to set it. I went ahead and went with two so I can see how I can, this one in the center here, it, gets, it would get in the way if I put a bolt in there. So I just went it with these two on this side and two in the matching on the other side. One of the neat thing I wanna show you is it comes with six feet. There's six, there's two in the back, two in the middle, two in the front, just like the exits on an airplane. And then this right here is the wheel caster. And actually, it's not the wheel caster, but I'll tell you about that in a second. This is the foot. There's six of these feet that come with it. Let's let that focus in. You screw them in. So they're come in set like this. You screw them all the way in, and then you can adjust the height. They telescope out as you unscrew them. What's really cool is I'm gonna be using this on carpet, so I just need these feet, and then I can slide it around pretty easy. They come preloaded with these little rubber sleeves, rubber stoppers that go inside if you're using it on a hard surface floor, like hardwood, tile, concrete, you know, if you got it in there, and it keeps it from sliding around. I'm gonna take these out because I was moving around in the, the commander's office here. This is the commander's home office, and uh, she wants me to get this chair out of here. But I was moving it around a little bit, and these were falling out because they were grabbing the carpet. So I just, I'm just gonna take them out. So here's all the extra stuff I had left over for, there's the basic configuration you can see. Here's all the extra stuff that I had left over. Had one of these extra brackets left over that I might still try to mount somewhere in the back of the seat. Uh, if I have an extra, maybe that'll be the cup holder. Uh, 
the I've got here's the butt kicker adapter. I'm gonna definitely mount that on there. I'm gonna look for a good deal on a butt kicker pro. Uh, wire it up and hook it up to the sound or interlace it interlace it through the sound so I can get some rumbling going down the runway. That'd be cool. Got this uh, extra extension plate, which goes kind of with the monitor stand, and it's kind of not clear how to see that. I'm going to do some more research on that. It's not clear how to see that yet for me in the instructions. We were trying to figure it out, but we also had company over for holidays yesterday, lots of baking and stuff going on. Here is some extra re reinforcement plates that go with something I haven't read yet. I got some extra stops for uh, adjustment stops for sliders, two extra square plates. Here's the thing that you guys see that a lot of people are talking about being too high uh, or not in the right place. And this is the angle bracket and it goes right here like this and it goes up and then it telescopes up about four inches. So the stick is a little high and realistically, if I was gonna use a center stick flying on this, I would have a center stick with an extension. So I would want a mount that's lower and there are some guys that say you can slide these down, but then my, one of my friends, Serpent64, said a good point about that is if you do slide those down, now your stick's going to be farther away from you. You're going to have to move your seat up. So a lot of ergonomic uh, concerns for this, uh, considerations, I should say. Uh, Serpent's going to order one of these here in a couple months, and he is going to adapt his so that he can make a new special bracket for down here. And I'm sure with what this comes with, he can probably make it work. Lots of flexibility there. Some of the extra stuff I've got too is I've got this mounting bracket here that looks like it's a, an angled interface that will work with all these extra attachments. I've got it, here's the thing that goes on the where your joystick mounts in the center if you put it in the center plate. This looks like an extra monitor attachment. It's really beefy. I think what this is desi designed to do, and I may use this later on, but what this is designed to do, I think you can put a two by four through there and screw it in and you have a wooden stand. Basically this right here, attaches to this and then you can adjust it and you can run a two by four through there and then you've got this full beam that you can mount wood to to make an extra shelf. I may use that in the, in the, in the long run. And then I've got an extra one of these plates too, which is kind of cool. It's like another monitor TV stand right there. And this is the plate. If you look at the design on this, this plate integrates with this in some way to where it ends up you know, hooking onto it with the angle there like that to give it a little arm extension there. So that's all the extra leftover parts there. Uh, this thing is sturdy. It is beefy. Um, I don't think uh, you're going to have any problems with it. have had a few guys say that they have the one-year-old version of this, which I'm trying to figure out if they're talking about the regular flight sim seat. This, is, this right here has only been a, available in the market for about two and a half months. And uh, I think the, the, the cushions on their seat they said are wearing out we'll give this one some time some flight this will be my only computer desk so it'll be my flight pit so i'll let you guys know how that is okay. other than that let me see if there's anything else i forgot oh i will have to get a new keyboard because my keyboard is a rocat and it's got the extra extra built-in wrist guard on it which is too tall for this this is about the normal size or a little bit bigger than a 101 keyboard uh, so i will probably get a new gaming keyboard with that but don't tell the wife so Hope you guys liked the video. Share it with a friend. If you have any questions, want any measurements that you can't find online, just uh, drop a comment in there and I will get my tape measure out. Give it to you in, in inches and you can convert it uh, to metric as you see fit on YouTube or actually on Google. Keep guys, uh, keep watching and we'll see you later. Bye.